Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Holcolic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 25 of my Subnautica Season 4 Hardcore Mode Let's Play series. So, we got a little bit of a problem. Um, I just realised that the Sea Treaders wreck is one we've already uh, checked out. And unless I happen to leave a nuclear reactor fragment behind, then I have no idea where to get another nuclear reactor fragment. Because there's, uh, like, I think we only checked this room. No, no, we checked up here, right? Yeah, we did. Because there's only two wrecks that normally spawn a nuclear reactor fragment, to my knowledge. And I haven't seen another wreck, and I can't find one that spawns any. So this is a bit of a major issue now. Unless there's some hidden areas in this wreck, which I believe there could be because the wreck is massive and I really doubt we've explored it all. I think there may be another entrance from the other side on this side. I'm gonna look But if not, then I'm lost at what to do to get the other nuclear reactor fragment We may have to ditch the whole nu nuclear reactor idea entirely, which would be super disappointing um and just go with, like, thermal energy and a shit ton of solar panels. Not really what I had in mind. And I don't really think that's a sustainable source of energy without going maybe slightly overboard. With stuff, but we're gonna look anyway. Um, this is... A room that I don't think you're supposed to access, or it's a room we already can access. I can't tell from looking at it from the outside. A little bit paranoid, I'm gonna get stuck here. So, like, I don't... I'm confused about what to do here now. Because unless there's another entrance, which I don't see, unless it's from the bottom... Mm. I somewhat remember this wreck. I remember trying to get into it once, and I thought there was another entrance into the opposite side. But I'm a little confused about where. Alright, I'm gonna look around for a moment, and I'll join you guys back in a second. Alright, I'm back. Uh, there was... there is another entrance. It's right here. It's actually more obvious than I gave it credit for. Uh, you just head up here. Hopefully... We find exactly what we need, which is the nuclear reactor fragment. Beautiful. Awesome. That has solved a lot of issues that I was just super worried about then. We also got another data box. This is the docking repair bay module, which I believe we already had in our possession regardless, so that's irrelevant, but nice to have. We can also apparently open this door. I don't know what's in here though. Um, it looks like already the stuff we've had in the past. Okay, no problemo. There is something here, another alien containment fragment, not like we found enough the other day. Another alien containment fragment, again, not like we found enough of those. Alright, so we got all the fragments we require to make this nuclear reactor. Now... I've just got to try and remember everything that I need to make. So, I've got to make the reactor itself, which is two titanium ingots, three lead, and a lubricant. I believe we have everything. The reactor rod, I believe we have everything as well, which is three uranite crystal, which I think used to be like this uranite that you make from the crystal or something. A piece of lead and a piece of glass. We should have everything we need back at the base to make everything. So, I'm going to head back over there now. And I will see you guys and girls when we get back home. Alright guys and girls, we are back at the base. Uh, and we're gonna start making this nuclear reactor. We need to start getting some titanium ingots together. I have the ti some titanium on me. Uh, from off the... Out of the locker from the Cyclops. From all the alien containment things we collected. Alright, so that's step one. We need four lead because we need one for the reactor rod and one for everything else. Alright, there's the lead that we needed. 
We just need lubricant now, which is easy to get. We just are able to get that lovely substance from outside our doors now. We need lubricant. Uh, let's just go in through the bottom. Alright. What we needed. So we need the uranite crystal, titanium, and glass as well. We'll quickly make the u lubricant. The lubricant is what I was going to say. I don't know why. Uh, uranite is in here as well. We need one, two, three. Is that it? Yes, we need a piece of titanium and a piece of glass, which is one thing I don't think we have. Because we used it making some of the windows. Which, how does that look at night time, actually, come to think of it? Is this going to be the nuclear reactor room here? I mean, I wish you could crouch in-game sometimes, so you could see through the windows properly, because I don't think they sit... They sit just that little bit too low to really enjoy. Uh, so do we have a piece of glass anywhere, or am I going to have to get some? Alright, I'm going to have to get uh, one more piece of quartz. That's fine. Should be able to find a piece of quartz relatively quickly. Honestly, there we go. So, uh, two seconds of looking, and we've already found what we needed. Let's just make the glass. And I think that's about it. That is indeed it. Alright. So, we can make the reactor rod now. Beautiful, beautiful reactor rod. I wish it glowed, like, a lot more. Alright, there's the reactor rod. And now, we just need to build the actual nuclear reactor itself. Hmm. Which way do we want it to face? I think for something different, we'll have it face over here. Exercise caution when handling radioactive materials. Exposure risks corrupting your PDA's recording of the circumstances of your death. So now we've got 2,800 total power. Um, they did increase the amount of power you gain from this as well, so that's a good thing. Use to power nuclear reactors. Boom. Now we've got power being generated from the nuclear reactor. Which is awesome. Beautiful. We're getting power at a pretty decent rate as well. Which is fantastic. It's starting to become daytime outside. Look at our marble melons. They're doing great. We've got a rotten lantern fruit that we probably just want to dump in the water. Which is something else we should probably make is a bin to be able to put stuff away without, I guess, just polluting the world. Um, we've got the nuclear waste and the normal trash can. Both of them just require some titanium, so we'll make those. One, two, three, four. Um, we'll put them maybe in here. Well, could I slot them in anywhere over here? Not really. Without them probably being in the way. Um, because this is a locker room, so we probably don't want them in here either. We probably want them in here where we really can't fit a ton of stuff. Alright, let's just put that here. And then right next to it, we'll put the nuclear waste disposal. Cool. We can use the trash can. We can use that trash can. Is there anything else... That might be worth building. Now, I actually... It's been a long time since I made a coffee machine. The last time I made one, it didn't seem to function properly. But this was also... I think it was the end of Season 1. Was the last time I made a coffee machine. So we'll try this out as well. You look like you could use some coffee. You look like you could use some, use some coffee. Ooh. 
picked up coffee americano plus four to hydration and it's a little subnautica mug oh that's cute can we put this in our hand no i like how we eat it like why why do we chew on it also that's got to be great for the coffee being right next to a nuclear reactor it's got to really give it some kick for sure no doubt about it all right we could build a scanner room but they're kind of not they're not really important in this type of area i don't believe anyway what else can we make what else what else is there anything important that we can make that could be really useful I guess all the all the stuff for the Seamoth and everything could be quite a good idea. We could actually make the pressure compensator MK2 right now. If we wanted to. Uh, that's just a piece of gold. Um... Yeah, the copper wire, that's right. Couple copper for the wire. And then the table coral samples, which are pretty easy to get as well. All I gotta do is just find some that I haven't already taken. I think this is the same knife we've been using also for like this whole Let's Play. I don't think I've made more than one knife. Oh, that's why it doesn't have a durability bar anymore. Oh, right. That's a thing that I completely forgot about. Actually, what the fuck was I making? The MK2 compensator. I think the aluminium oxide crystals are in with the medical stuff, which is in here because they're red. Okay. Then we just need two plasteel ingots, which we've already got in here. Bang, bang. And the actual pressure compensator itself off the Seamoth, which is inside our Cyclops at the moment. So we go get this baby out. Welcome aboard. I haven't found the water online. filtration machine, which is something else I'd like to get going. Now that we've got nuclear power, I don't know what its power drawer is anymore. Like, so they changed all the values, so it's hard to determine what everything is. Let's park this baby here. Uh, we access the upgrades over this side of the moth. We need that. Alright, now we head up. Caution. Detected. Boom! Pressure compensator. Hey, how you doing? Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. And also, I think the good thing is we can use this for the prawn suit as well when we get it, so... We won't have to go making another one. So now... That's up to 500. Uh, I think we could nearly go it again. Honestly, like... We'd be damn close to being able to do the other one as well. We could do the other one. We just have to make another computer chip. Okay, so we could do that super quickly if I can just find some table coral. Alright. Running pretty low on uh, sea glide juice here as well. Okay, let's see if we can, how quickly we can rush make this. Bang. Two of them. One of them. Couple wire, computer chip. Bang. Plasty lingots, that's what I forgot. One, two, three. Alright, and then we go, boom, pressure compensator MK3, complete arena. I wish it looked different to the other one. Alright, awesome. Now the crush depth's like 700 or something, right? 
900 meters on the Seamoth. Absolutely awesome. Well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you like this video, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Subnautica, hit that subscribe button. Aboard, Check Captain. out all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.